What has for what was Pfizer got to hide? This is a question that we are all asking after we found out that the CEO of Pfizer, Albert Borla, pulled out and answered some concrete and specific questions. Questions that I think all of us and all of you have. And the first question is, what exactly in these contracts? What are they hiding exactly? I mean, in the previous press conferences, I, I showed you some of the pages you know, from these contracts. This is how they were disclosed to us and to the public and to the press. This is how they disclosed the contracts. Over 100 pages, every contract with Pfizer, with Moderna, tens of pages of those contracts were blacked out. Now I'm asking you, what about the interests of our people? What about the interests of the Europeans whose money was spent or wasted, I would say now, to buy these medical products that are not providing what they were marketed for? Because what we found out yesterday, when one of my colleagues asked if Pfizer tested, if their medical product is stopping the spread of the virus, we were shocked to find out yesterday that they haven't tested their vaccine to see if it's stopping the spread of the virus. People were forced to be vaccinated with the medical product in order to exercise their basic fundamental rights. And they were told and we were told because they believe what these companies have said. That if you get vaccinated, you will not be infected and you will not spread the virus. They even ran campaign and said, get vaccinated in order to keep your grandmother and your parents healthy. What do they hide exactly? Why aren't they transparent?